we are going to attempt to do the hydroponics now. I've done a test run with this one. This is the Hungarian black that was planted on 1224 of 21. All we really need to do now is to put the water in the jar there. So as you can see, I have a net cup, I have a rock wool, I've washed off as much of the soil as I could. We'll be doing a couple change outs as more of this soil comes off. That's from the peat pellet there. And then we just slip it in there. So what I've done is taken a pint size wide mouth mason jar and covered it with tin foil here. And I've got a piece of plastic cut out that goes between the nut pot and the ring. Here's the nut pot right here. Here's the plastic ring right there. And then the outer metal ring. So, what I'm doing is wiping them down, getting them all nice and clean, do the inside, all parts, and then what I've found I can do is just cut the bottom of the net cup off and the rock wool is sufficiently large that's these guys right here sufficiently large to be lodged in there but not fall through I've made up the solution with master blend and calcium nitrite and three drops of the Clonex Got about a gallon and a half of that solution there. And I have, you can see the container there is what was used to soak the rock wools here. So we'll just wipe down the components. As you can see, we now have the bottom cut out of the net cup. We have the plastic ring decorated in black so that we'll have the least amount of light coming through. And it's all cleaned on the inside. So we will select one of the candidates over here. We've got a whole bunch. Here's the list that I will be using. Everything in purple here is a candidate for the hydroponics. So Hungarian black has already been done, so we'll mark that one off. And now we'll select something else. What looks good? And these are all the duplicates that I'm willing to experiment with. All right, we got our bucket of water. And that is just from the Hungarian black. First thing, we just take the tape plate off and affix it to the new container. Then we remove it from the square and pretty much just get all the dirt off that we can. And we're going to be reducing the root mass by at least half. Pretty much just shake it and any roots that remain we can throw away. And then just, you know, bunk it on the side here. And then in the water bucket here, we will get the stuff off that won't tap. And what's left is pretty much what was in the peat pellet. 
All right, there we go. There's some good, good long roots there. Now, take our rock wool cube here, and we're just gonna cut down. There we go. Didn't throw any excess away, and cut it in half there. And we need a little bit of space for the stem. So I will cut just a little stem shaped notch in it there. And ideally you can see through it. There we go. That's what we want. And now just set that in there. There we go. Now we'll take this and thread it through. And you can see how pushing down does not push the rock wool out the bottom, but the roots are sticking out the bottom. And now we can just that inside there and there we go now we've got two plants in the hydroponics and this is going to be the Kratky style hydroponics what I'll be doing is just filling up the container here to the level of where the bottom of the up and as the plant uses water it will slowly deplete the level. The idea is that these roots here are more water roots and the roots will grow down and it will produce what's called oxygen roots and that will grow in the gap between the water level, the bottom of the net cup. And with Kratky, generally you don't refill it. However, we will need to refill. So, modified Kratky, however it is. But that is basically what we're going to be doing. To the other 10 plants here. <music> Washing out the other 10 from the roots and the dirt and getting them all installed. And this must not work with gloves on. Let's try clapping. Wow, that seemed to have worked. All right, we have got 12 plants all put into the containers anyway. We have not added the water yet. Here's what we have selected. We have one of the chocolate habanero for the grow out. That was the tallest one right there. Purple cayenne, Ethiopian brown, Brazilian starfish, Alba regia. This one I'm not sure how to pronounce. Onza amarillo or Onza amarillo. We have a sugar rush stripey, a Thunder Mountain longhorn that has seen better days. Dado de Mocha, the SSTMS Attempted Cross, Numex 64, 
and Hungarian black, which is throwing some flowers that will be trimmed off. Alrighty, these 12 will be my hydroponic experiments in the crap key setup. So we will get the water all installed and see where we're gonna put them. All right, we have it all installed. Got the warm air blowing on it from the heater vent. And we'll see how it goes.